Welcome back to my channel for a short Leica unboxing episode. And the unboxing I'm going to do is the new Sumilux M widest open f 1.4, 35mm, it's an aspherical lens. And Leica just a few days ago brought this lens newly to market and it has significant improvements compared to its predecessor. Let's kick off the video. In this episode I will unbox the new lens and will compare it with the former Sumilux f1.4 35mm and then in another episode in the next days I will have mounted it on my Leica M11 and will shoot it out in the field to provide sample images so you can have your own impressions about this new Leica lens. So let's open the box quickly. Let's get this new lens out of the box and uh, then let's mount it on the Leica M11 and let's compare it with the former Sumilux lens. So first of all inside is the usual stuff. We have here a leather pouch. In the leather pouch, I hope we find the lens. Here we go. Quite nice. Let's open this up here and let's see what we have. So this is the new Sumilux F1.4 35 millimeter. There's nothing else in the box besides some brochure and the usual manual from Leica. So let's get all the other things inside and uh, let's have a look at this new lens. I think the leather pouch is what we typically have in Leica M lenses. It's solid, it's leather, it looks good, it works nice on the zipper and it protects the lens when you are on travel. So what do I have in front of me here on the table? First of all we have here the new lens. Then we have here the Summicron 35mm f2.0 which is also a new lens and a new design with a closer distance to subject. And then we have here the former Summilux M. 1.4 widest open aperture and also 35 millimeter and that's currently mounted on my Leica M ASC special limited edition. What I want to do first is getting a protector on that new glass here and if we open this up here we find here this is a 46 millimeter filter thread so that's the same filter thread as what we had on the former Sumilux lens so we can use the protector from this lens because that one I'm not shooting the next days and mount it on the new lens. So let's quickly do this. First of all, we have to remove here the lens cap and you see already here that there is a different design in contrast to the new one. Let's get the lens hood away. And then we have here the protector. Let's unmount this. And let's get this on top of the new lens so it is protected. Here we go, that looks good. And now the lens is ready to go outside and shoot. But before, as I said, in this episode, I'm going to explain all the differences between the new and the former Suminux lens here, and also look into the data specifications of the new lens. I also want to unmount the former Suminux lens so we can put them side by side. So let's get this opened here on the lens mount side. Let's put the ASC M camera aside and let's get the lens here protected and then we can put them side by side. So here we go. This is the new Sumilux and this is the old Sumilux 35mm f1.4. And immediately by design, we see major differences here. First of all, on the lens cap side, we have here a clip on lens cap in the very simplistic or minimalistic style like I sometimes provide them. Here we have a lens cap, which is used in a way that you slide it on the lens hood and also the lens hood design is different. Here I showed this before, I can unmount this and it's screwed on the lens. Whereas here we have to open this up and then we have one of these newer constructions where you actually have the lens hood integrated in the lens body. And that is a very nice mechanism, works very, very well. And we've seen this on many other newer lenses from the Leica M system on my channel. Quite nice the way this works here. The difference in lens hood design and lens cap design makes the former Sumilux lens a little bit larger or longer than the new Sumilux lens. So you have a tiny little more compactness factor here on that new Sumilux lens. Now in terms of engravings on the lens, uh, I need to make a remark of caution here. So here we see the feed scale is in amber and the focal length is in amber. And on the standard version of the former Sumilux, that's also in amber. So what you see here gray, namely the feed scale and then the 35 millimeter focal length that is in amber on the standard version of this lens. This is a special limited edition which came together with the ASC camera here 
uh, from the Leica M series and therefore has a special design in terms of coloring. But all the rest of it is exactly here like it is on the standard version of the former Sumilux 35mm f1.4. Let's talk about aperture first. So here in the former version we have the usual aperture ring and uh, it clicks in nicely as we always have it on Leica M lenses but we have on this lens here nine aperture blades. Let me try to open this here. Let me close the aperture. So you see it here, nine aperture blades. And on the new one, we have two more, namely 11 aperture blades. And uh, that is something which improves, of course, the appearance of the bokeh. So if I stop down here, I don't know if you can see it, but you have a more circular opening then if I stop down. And these 11 aperture blades should make, that's what Leica is saying, a significant difference in the way the background bokeh is appearing in your images. There's also something interesting going on here on that new aperture ring. And it has significantly more resistance, if you look here, than what you have on this one here. And it also locks in more firmly into the aperture stops here. So this is a real game changer. I think the design here has massively improved if you compare this. And I hope you can see this and also a little bit hear it. It's really different. More firmly clicking in and more resistance when you turn it. Quite nice, I like that new design a lot. There's also a significant improvement coming on the minimum focusing distance. And we've seen this before, what I'm going to show on the new Summicron M 35mm f2.0 with the same new design as what we have now on the new Summilux. So it seems that Leica is updating bit by bit their Leica M lens portfolio. And if you look at the former version here, so you can focus from 0.7 meter up to infinity here. And that also works for the full range with the rangefinder focusing method. Here it changed in the same way as on the Summicron. So we have here infinity and then we can go as close as 0.7 meter. But then here at 0.7 meter, it kind of locks in. There is resistance here and I can then push it beyond and focus as close as 0.4 meter or 40 centimeter here. And that brings me significantly closer to my subject, of course. This has immediate consequences on the maximum reproduction ratio or the maximum magnification you have. And on this new lens, it's one divided by 8.9. So you actually can use this lens also for close-up shots. And I will show that in the next video on that lens when we go out and shoot this lens on the Leica M11. The differentiation on the distance scale in two ranges from 0.7 meter to infinity. And then here is this hard stop exactly when the zero aligns with the dash here. And then the closer distance from 0.4 meter up to 0.7 meter. That is also expressed here in different coloring of the scale. So here we have a white scale and here we have a gray scale. And actually on the white scale, you can safely use the rangefinder in the camera here. But on the gray scale, the rangefinder will not help you focusing. You need to go via the live view on the LCD or the electronic viewfinder, which was also recently in a new version issued for the Leica M11 and the Leica M10 cameras via firmware update. There is one more thing I need to mention here. If I go here and focus at infinity, you see here now I have my focus ring at infinity and I turn it, it stops here, you see? So let's probably turn this around. So here we go, here is the hard stop and then I can turn it until here. That's all we get, that's a pretty small angle actually. On the new Summilux, it is actually much, much larger and is 170 degrees, which enables that closer distance focusing. So here is the hard stop and then I start to focus and then I can turn and turn and turn and turn. So these are 176 degrees. And again, I think this is a masterpiece of Leica's engineers and the mechanics, the way the lens is built, the way this aperture ring differently works as the one we had on the former Summilux. I think these are huge improvements. And of course, in terms of your photography, if you can get that much closer with 0.4 meter and you have a higher magnification, you also have more interesting things you can do with that lens. And it just makes the whole lens more versatile and provides more functionality. So quite nice and I like a lot the way Leica is improving bit by bit these lenses as they did before with the Summicron M 2.0 35mm. Let's quickly complete the specifications of the lens. First of all, the view angle here is 62.5 degrees in the diagonal perspective 
and we have nine lenses in five groups in the optical construction of this new Sumilux lens. We have here at the bottom the 6-bit encoding which helps the Leica M camera bodies to read what lens the camera body is dealing with but this is an optical encoding and will be optically read and is not the same as if you would have had electronic contacts where you can store the metadata. So the camera body will not know what aperture setting you have chosen here but make a best guess based on the exposure of the image. So for mounting the lens let's get the Leica M11 over here. Let's unmount the Summicron M35 f2.0. Let's get here the lens cap removed. Let's get this lens mounted. Very simple with the Leica system always red dot on red dot. Then it snaps in. Beautiful. And let's protect the Summicron lens here and then we are good to go. And if you look at that construction now, it looks really nice in the same way as the Summicron M35 millimeter. We can get out the lens hood here and then this is ready to go and shoot. I think with this I said everything that needs to be said about that new Summilux lens. I hope you found it useful. Have all the specifications now. I guess you got some appetite to also upgrade maybe your Summilux 35 f1.4 for the new version, which really is a big improvement. And of course now I need to test the new Summilux on my Leica M11. I will shoot it. I will come back with another video and show lots of sample images. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And of course, peace out.